So we're going to start off by drawing something small, kind of simple. Um, these now, it's a handy piece kit, it's, um, they're called calipers um, for measuring awkward devices. So, so with these, what you want to do to measure the outside of something, you open them up. So we'll set it to zero. Open them up and just, so this will give you a measurement from the outside to the outside. So that will give you the di diameter. So for this now it's 11.3 millimeters. So what you want to do is, so we're going to go from the top plane, we're looking down on the object. Okay. So I'm going to try my best to <laughs> draw a circle. I need a rubber. Um, no, you don't have to be an artist to use SolidWorks. Uh, it's just handy to kind of get the gist. So I'm going to draw my dimension here 11.3 no. next I'm going to do the inner circle Try my best. so we'll roughly say it's 8.8 .8. You can't, well you can kind of see it from, from the top, there is a chamfer on this. Let's see, can we, can we get that? Oh yeah, so 7.6. So just to give you a clearer look at that, so we have an inner circle that is 7.6 millimetres, 8.8 millimetres and then the very outer diameter is 11.3 and so that would be our top, top view or we'll say plain and that will make sense when we're using the software. Now on this side I want to do a side view so I'm going to say right plane and for that I'm going to want to find the diameter No. So that's from top to underneath. I'm going to attempt to draw that. So I'm going to have to draw the chamfer and come straight down. Um, probably a chamfer and a fillet, I would say. Let's see how that comes out on the software. If that makes sense. So look, that is my side view and 
I have a measurement from here to here and now I'm going to want a measurement from here to here. So top to bottom is It's upside down. Five point four. And four point five. to have the isometric view which is basically the 3D version so isometric view I'm going to try and draw this now think don't tell me what you think <laughs> roughly anyway um do we need any more no like i mean you don't need a radius because you've already got the diameter of these points so the radius is obvious so it'd be unnecessary i mean you can put the radius instead of the diameter as well vice versa um, I think that completes that drawing and so we will then try and do this now on the software. <laughs>